Hello friends, welcome back to the series lecture on high voltage engineering. We are discussing resistance potential divider for DC voltage. This name indicates the resistance is used where the potential get divided and that measures the value of the DC voltage. The arrangement is same as of the previous lecture where high value of resistance is used in series with the micro ammeter. In this particular case, instead of using micro ammeter, there is a use of electrostatic voltmeter. This voltmeter is electrostatic voltmeter means the electrical energy is that is static energy is measured with the help of voltmeter. Across that, there is a resistance R2 present. So whatever the voltage drop which takes place across this particular resistance, it is measured with the help of voltmeter. So a resistance potential divider which uses either the electrostatic or high impedance value voltmeter. A high voltage magnitude is given by the equation R1 plus R2 upon R2 into V2. It means whatever the voltage we are we have to measure, this voltage is applied across this terminal. That is, to this particular terminal, a high voltage is applied. That DC high voltage, that is to be measured. So we get the voltage with respect to the ground terminal. So this particular voltage acts as a high voltage, high DC voltage. And this voltage is nothing but the voltage across the resistance R2. This voltage is measured by the voltmeter. Now, whenever we need to do the measurement of high DC voltage, it can be said to be, say, V. This V is nothing but the voltage which is to be measured, that is high DC voltage. So this high DC voltage can be measured by using voltage divider rule or voltage division rule. And therefore, the name of this particular method is a resistance potential divider. Now, if I want to find this voltage across R2, the equation using voltage divider or voltage division rule is the total voltage that is V. Now V stands for the high DC voltage which is applied multiplied by the same branch resistance that is R2 divided by summation of the series resistances which are present in the network that is R1 plus R2. Now as I had to find out the voltage V that is to be measured, so this V is equal to the total voltage, the voltage which is made, uh, measured by the voltmeter, that is V2, multiplied by R1 plus R2, divided by resistance R2. So this gives me the value of this supply voltage, that is the voltage which is to be measured. With sudden change in voltage due to switching, whenever the switching takes place, or if the test object flashes over, or if the source short circuited the divider elements that may get damaged and hence the reason either is a stray capacitance across the elements or the ground capacitances so to avoid this flashover there that is the transient voltage or voltage controlling capacitors are connected across the elements a corona free termination is also necessary to avoid this unnecessary discharge at high voltage ends. A series resistor with a parallel capacitor connection for linearization of transient potential distribution is also shown in the figure. So this is another figure that shows the connection of the resistance and capacitor. So over here, whenever we have the flashover or there is a short circuit, etc that can be avoided by using again the protective device which is placed here. This protective device basically 
forms a spark in between the two and that spark gap is sufficient to form a spark and that can protect the electrostatic voltmeter which is connected in the circuit the range of this potential divider with 0.05% accuracy is up to 100 kilovolt so when we say accurate it means 0.05% so 100 kb 0.05% of 100 kb so there is there may be the drop in voltage of 0.05% with 0.1% accuracy voltage measurement is up to 300 kilovolt with this electrostatic voltmeter and better in 0.5% accuracy up to 500 kilovolt so this way we can do the measurement of high dc voltage with the help of this resistance potential divider so instead of having micro ammeter the current measurement the direct voltage measurement can be done the only thing is you have to use voltage division rule for the calculation purpose so hope you understood this concept of this resistance potential divider and uh, you will enjoy the next dc high voltage measurement with the help of generating voltmeter in next lecture so thank you so much guys